Good morning, I'm Julie Chin. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. Governor Kevin Stitt yesterday answered questions about the White House Coronavirus Task Force report. He said he believes the government has changed the way they are reporting the data and that they want to be transparent with Oklahomans as they've always been. He said if health leaders want to see the reports, he's leaving it up to them to ask for it. And new this morning, Pfizer-BioNTech have made a deal with the U.S. for 100 million more doses of its coronavirus vaccine. BioNTech released a statement saying that the full 200 million doses are expected to be delivered by the end of July. The U.S. government will pay just under $2 billion for those additional doses. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar says this purchase can, quote, give Americans even more confidence that we will have enough supply to vaccinate every American who wants it by June 2021. During the pandemic, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline has seen an 800% increase in calls. This, according to Dr. Jerry Clancy in an update from Oklahoma Medical Professionals yesterday, he warns that medical professionals need to prepare for this mental health epidemic. If you or someone you know is struggling, the number for the National Suicide Prevention Hotline is 800-273-8255. Now let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Clint Boone. Thank you very much, Julie. Well, today, temperatures are going to be all over the place. Upper 50s this morning, cold front moves through and then falling temperatures this afternoon into the middle 40s with gusty northwest winds. Christmas Eve, chilly, 22 in the morning, 40 in the afternoon, 49 for Christmas Day. Weekend shows a big warm up in the 60s and then the big chill arrives next week with a wintry mix by Tuesday. A little bit of everything on there. That's a look for at some of the stories making headlines today. Stay with Two Works for You for updates throughout the day.